Ladies and gentlemen, it's David Hall here, founder of the Idea Centre. And what I'd like to do is to briefly share with you a glimpse of what is possible beyond continuous improvement. Allowing organisations, liberating organisations to be able to drive breakthrough thinking at will, which is kind of beyond the conventional approaches to continuous improvement or CI. Now, the world around us, we know this stuff, is changing at an ever-increasing rate. And there's no surprise here because the rate of change, for goodness sake, fuels the rate of change. And the faster things happen, by definition, there's a cumulative effect. And what this means is there's a fantastic opportunity out there because there's a world of what might be an ever-exploding universe of opportunity, which is just brilliant for entrepreneurial, creative, innovative organisations. Because it means there's always something new out there that could have a profound effect on what the organisation is doing today. All we have to do is to find mechanisms of tapping into that and woof we're off on the next innovation journey however we as individuals are kind of fundamentally flawed and we're not equipped with the wherewithal or the mental capacity to keep up with that rate of change we can improve over time but we improve at a much much slower rate because fundamentally as individuals and collectively as cultures we make sense of our worlds by looking backwards almost every decision we ever make every problem we ever solve is driven effectively through the rear view mirror Because the first thing we do in making any decision is we look back at past experience, at knowledge, at training, at education, stuff that's happened in our past, and we bring it to bear on the situation today and then make a decision on the basis of that match that will drive our behaviours moving forwards. So we have a huge amount of inertia. That past provides inertia, which means we can improve over time, but at a much, much slower rate. And effectively, we become trapped in a world of what is. Uh, And that world is a beautifully well-behaved world because everything is broadly consistent. There's no radical change in here. This is all incremental improvement because everything is a modification on what's happened in the past. And we become trapped in that world by an atmosphere of conventional and traditional thinking. We can improve things over time, but we always improve things through the prism of our world of what is. We're making this a better and better world. But better is the operative word. What we're doing is looking at Uh, all our problems, all our issues through the prism of this world, and it's massively constraining. We have to assume we're making suboptimal decisions. There are things out there that can have a profound effect on the organisation that we're ignoring because they're not consistent with how we normally do things. What we want to do is to help organisations break free from that. We want to release breakthrough thinking that will allow us to access that world of what might be. The snag is there's a whole series of mental blocks in the way. There are things that happen inside our brains. They're almost hardwired in our DNA. This is fight or flight stuff, for goodness sake. It used to be in days of old, if you did anything outrageous, you could lose your life, for goodness sake. Now, that doesn't happen anymore. However, the remnants of that wiring is in our DNA, and we are fundamentally conditioned to play safe. So these mental blocks, you can never make these mental blocks go away. But if you know that these mental blocks exist, you can choose to use a range of creativity techniques that will allow you to overcome those blockages, which will then allow you to release the potential and drive step change or discontinuous improvement, doing things differently. And that's the prize. Continuous improvement is fantastic and we must do this. But over and above it, for the organisations that want to be successful in the future, we need to look at how we can do things differently. But to do it, we need to understand the blocks and then we have to embed the techniques uh, within the organisation for doing things differently to release that potential. We need many, many continuous improvement incremental changes. We do not need many step changes in the organisation to have a profound impact. And that's where our focus is.